In the video for break-even analysis, we saw an example where you are running a personal computer assembly business. Now for each PC that you assembled, you incurred the cost of labor and raw material. This cost is known as the variable cost. You also were renting the facility where you were assembling these PCs. And the amount that you were paying for renting this facility was the fixed cost. Now after the PCs were assembled, you were selling these PCs at a predetermined selling price. Now let's say that the variable cost per unit for the PC is $200 and the selling price per PC is $500. So basically the $500 that you are getting after selling the PC, $200 out of that 500 is covered for the variable cost. However, out of this $500, we have to also cover the other cost which is the fixed cost. So let's say that the rent of the facility that you have taken up to assemble the PCs is $10,000 per year. So the difference between the selling price and the variable cost which is $300 will contribute towards the payment of the rent of the facility. And this difference of $300 is known as the contribution margin. And since this is for a single unit, this is contribution margin per unit. So if you divide 10,000 by 300, you will get the number of PCs to be sold in order to cover the entire fixed cost. And after the entire fixed cost has been covered, then this contribution margin will become our profit. So per PC, $300 will be our profit after we have recovered the entire fixed cost. So contribution margin represents the amount of revenues minus variable costs that contribute towards recovering fixed costs and once the fixed costs are fully recovered the contribution margin contributes to the operating income or in other terms the profits. So this is how we define the contribution margin. So in other terms contribution margin per unit is equal to selling price per unit minus the variable cost per unit.
now this is abbreviated as unit contribution margin selling price per unit is small p and variable cost per unit is small c now this is for the unit contribution margin and the same concept applies to the total contribution margin so contribution margin is equal to the total selling price minus the total variable cost or in other terms this is cm the total selling price is the multiplication of the unit selling price and the quantity produced so let's say the quantity produces q and this multiplied by small p which is the unit selling price similarly for variable cost the variable cost is a multiplication of the variable cost per unit and the number of units produced so if the number of units produced is q and the unit cost is c then q multiplied by c is the total variable cost we can also say that the total contribution margin is equal to the unit contribution margin or contribution margin per unit multiplied by the number of units sold now this is the number of units sold not the number of units produced because the contribution will be coming out only of the total revenue that is how much we have sold and what is the revenue that we have received after selling those units now this is the contribution margin per unit that is in the absolute rupee terms however if we have to find out how much percentage of the selling price is being contributed towards the fixed cost then we can find it out by dividing the contribution margin per unit by the selling price of the item per unit and this measure is known as the contribution margin ratio So the contribution margin ratio is equal to contribution margin per unit divided by selling price per unit. So this is the ratio contribution margin per unit divided by the selling price per unit and if we have to find out the contribution margin percentage then what we do is contribution margin per unit divided by selling price per unit multiplied by 100 in order to get it in percentage terms. Now with these concepts let us try to derive the break even point in terms of the contribution margin. Now we know that at the break even point the total cost is equal to the total revenue now the total cost comprises of fixed cost plus the variable cost so fixed cost is f and variable cost is the multiplication of number of units produced and the unit cost and total revenue is the multiplication of the number of units produced and the unit selling price so or qp minus qc is equal to f 
और q p माइनस सी इक्वल्स टू एफ और q इज इक्वल टू एफ डिवाइड बाय p माइनस सी नाउ दिस p माइनस सी इज नथिंग बट द यूनिट सेलिंग प्राइस माइनस द यूनिट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट which is equal to the unit contribution margin so we can write q is equal to f divided by unit contribution margin so this is the formula for the break even point in terms of the contribution margin now of course this is in terms of units so if we have to find out the break even point in terms of total sales or revenue so we know that the break even point in terms of sales is equal to fixed cost multiplied by the unit selling price divided by unit contribution margin now how did we get to this so basically q is equal to fixed cost divided by unit contribution margin so that is this portion here fixed cost divided by the unit contribution margin now if we want to get the break even point in terms of sales we have to multiply both the sides by the unit selling price so q multiplied by p is the sales and on the right hand side we have also multiplied by unit selling price so this is equal to f multiplied by p divided by the unit contribution margin f divided by unit contribution margin divided by the unit sales price so this is the same as the contribution margin ratio or the contribution margin percentage so f divided by cm percent so this is the break even point in terms of sales so in this video we have seen what is meant by the contribution margin per unit what is meant by the total contribution margin we also saw the contribution margin ratio and then finally we have seen how to express the break even point in terms of contribution margin